Hey guys, my name is Sandy. I'm homeschooling two boys. They are in sixth grade and eighth grade this year. And my eighth grader is using Algebra 1. He's been using Easy Peasy for most of the year. So today I'm going to give you guys a closer look at the Easy Peasy Algebra 1. So the Easy Peasy Algebra 1 has two different ways that you can teach your child. There is an online and there's also an offline with workbook. And we do a hybrid of both. I will sometimes do the online activity and I will sometimes do the offline activity. Most often, if there's like a lecture or an online lesson, we'll do that. And then we'll move into the worksheet and he'll do that offline. So when you're doing the offline program, there are two books you need. You need this one right here, the workbook answers, and you also need to order a second workbook. And these can be purchased from Amazon. And that is the textbook and also the worksheets. They're together. So I've broken mine down. Here's the old cover. And I put it in a binder with tabs. First tab is for the lessons. That's in here. And then the next tab I have for the quizzes. The last tab that I have here is for everything that was found in the back of the book. There's grading sheets, which really helps because this is for a high school credit. And also the thing that I really love about this curriculum is that there's PSAT practice, which my son is college bound and he probably will end up taking the PSAT. And this is kind of mixed in throughout the whole year. Um, these are for the answers on it. So this is for the beginning of the workbook. If anybody wants to know what it goes over for the year, this is it. There's 180 lessons, and each lesson takes anywhere from a half an hour to an hour, depending on how well he's catching on to it. And each lesson also comes with a quiz at the end of it, which we've done most of them. And here's a few of the worksheets. This is a PSAT practice sheet that's mixed in there. And they can also do the PSAT practice online on Khan Academy. And here's a typical lesson. This is lesson 93. And this is also the textbook. The textbook, which is the lesson, is in the first part of it. And then the second part You've got examples all the time. This is your turn to try it. And then there's questions after that. Here are some of the worksheets that my son has already completed. This is lesson 73. There's always a refresh your skills area. And then there's this section right here, learn a new skill. And this is the actual like lesson. This would take place of like the online lectures that we get with the online part. And then there's always examples, try it out. And then there's more learn new skills on this one. And then the back side is learn another skill. And then these are the problems that the student would work through. And he worked these through on another paper, so you can't see them on here. And then challenge yourself. Sometimes there are challenge questions at the very bottom. And there's always quizzes from each lesson. I always had him complete the quiz. And here's lesson 75, refresh your skills, learn a new skill. And usually this area, we would watch the online portion of it. Example, I really liked the examples. And then try it out. And here's the back side, learn a new skill, example, and then try it out. And here's the quiz for that lesson. There's plenty of room on the quizzes. This is the answer booklet, which is definitely needed for the offline program. There's the answers to lessons, answers to the final exam, and the answers to the quizzes. And this first part is the answers to the lessons. And I love this because it's all broken down on how to get to your answers. Step by step. It's very easy to follow along with, too. 
And here is for the graphing. Here's for quiz six. And I'm gonna recommend an app too. There's an app called Photo Math App. And you just scan in any equation from a book or even from a computer screen and it tells you step-by-step -step how to solve it and it's free. This is a calculator that my son's using this year for Algebra 1. It's a scientific calculator and it is approved for the SATs and ACTs. Um, so I thought I'd have him use it already. He doesn't even use the graphing functions on here, but I just wanted him to be really comfortable with it before he actually does the test. And here is the online program. It's basically the same content as the offline program. And I use this a lot because of the helpful lectures that it has on it. Let me see if I can find one of the lectures. So this is lesson 29. You just have to click on the blue words to follow the link to the lesson. And the first link is the NROC webpage, which they use a lot for the presentations. And here's just a quick example of what some of them look like. The drama club put on a play and really knocked them dead. And they raised some money too. They charged $2.50 per student and $5 per adult and sold a total of 300 at the intersect. We have values that satisfy both equations. Our first equation is easy to graph. The second one will be easier to graph if we first convert it to the slope intercept form. And then you would click on the next link in the lesson, which is the practice problems. And this is a printable worksheet on this lesson. Sometimes they're online practice problems. And then worked out solutions, and then you have a quiz every day with the answers. That's pretty much it for Easy Peasy Algebra 1. It's simple to follow along. There's not a whole lot of books that you have to lug around with you. I did sit with my son while he was doing these lessons. He did need extra help from me, and he likes to have somebody teach him the lessons like in person versus just watching a video online and trying to figure out himself. Um, we did like it. He learned a lot, and I think it is really really good for prepping the kids for college and for algebra too so i hope this was helpful bye guys